Well, Johnny, a 1 0 win the day against 4 4 West End. Yep. Talk us through the 90 minutes. Um, it was, it was, I thought it was pleasing, pleasing to watch. Do you know, I think some of the football at times was really, really good and aye, but it was just frustrating at times because we couldn't get the ball in the goals. Um, there was points in the game where you're thinking it might not be your day. Um, but credit to the players because they stuck at it, they kept moving the ball, kept creating chances. Um, and I, I told them in the dressing room that I'll only ever be critical when we're not creating chances. So the fact that we were creating um, was obviously very pleasing. Um, and if I'm being totally honest, I always felt as if the goal would would come um, because I know the quality that we've got in the team. So no, nah, delighted. The goal was goal was excellent. I think good striker play. Jamos went up for a header and Lundberg's alive to it. Shows a wee bit of quality. Take a couple of touches and then smashes it in the back of the goal. So do you know it was. It was pleasing to see the reaction of everybody as well. I, I've got injured players, I've got people on the uh, players on the bench, but do you know we're all pulling together and we're all cheering on the boys and it was a, a good a good kind of lift when we, we got that, that winning goal, so happy. You mentioned that you always thought the goal was coming, just yeah. but with the amount of chances and their keeper making saves, was there ever a wee doubt in your mind? No, you've always got that wee doubt and you're thinking it's one of these days that we're just not going to get it and maybe they'll nick a goal, so um, we always had to be on our guard, but nah. I don't have, I've got full confidence in the players, do you know. As I said, they have got that quality, do you know, and it only takes a second to score a goal. So while there was still time on the clock, I always believed that we would, we would get that goal. So, happy. You made a change bringing on Ross Montgomery and later Yaffa to sort of bring a wee bit of width. Was that, a, yeah. was that something you noticed? That we, were, we were trying at times to be too intricate, one twos around the box and we threaded passes in between centre backs and, and full backs and it just wasn't happening for us so um, the more joy that we got was seemed to be for wide areas so I just felt as if it was with Scotty playing on the left who, who had like an excellent game in my opinion I thought like, a lot of the good things that we done came through Scotty but naturally he wanted to come in the park so we didn't have the width on the left so just bringing Monty in um, shows the strength that we've got in the squad bring Monty on the left Yaffa on the right um, we had three at the back and we just opened them up with the, the width that we brought into the game so nah very very pleasing that we, we stuck at our task we didn't get two down herself um, and we managed to, to get the three points which was uh, the most important thing. The PLS man of the match was uh, vice captain Lewis Barr who led the team out for the first time the day, how drink he did. Uh, Lewis, typical Louis, always eight, nine, ten out of ten, that, that's the kind of performances that you, you come to expect from him. Um, true captain's performance, maybe not vocally. But do you know he leads, he's a leader by example. The way he goes about his business. If you have eleven players going about their business the way Louis Barr does, and not just on a Saturday, on a Tuesday, Thursday, through the week, um, you're a happy manager. So nah, Louis Barr thoroughly deserved it. And do you know you could have picked a, a few, a few players that were were good today. And um, Big Dawson, I thought was was excellent. Um, Stalwart at the back. Um, so nah, there was there was a few that you could have picked. Another uh, pleasing aspect must be the fact that it's another clean sheet as well. Yeah. Um, Great to get another clean sheet. I think we've uh, we've conceded six goals in the nine league games that we've we've played. So that that's ob obviously pleasing. Today without your captain, do you know who's been a rock at the centre of the defence for us? Um, that just kind of brings you onto the squad that we've got. You see, we've got 22 players now, two on loan, um, two goalkeepers, and everybody's fine to play. Do you know, and everybody can play. And everybody's got the quality. Young Jack never played today. Uh, he scored in the last four games, but. He's playing Tuesday nights and obviously um, a wee opportunity just to freshen up and see what we had in, in the other attacking areas. So, nah, but that, I look around at my bench now and I can say I've got players on my bench that can go and change the game for us. So, nah, again, that's very pleasing. And finally, we're back on Cup duty next week as we host Broxburn. Yep. What's your thoughts going into that one? Broxburn, be hard. Do you know, they're, they're a top side. I think they had a slow start, but they've started to get their, their act together. Uh, Last year, I think the games that we played against Broxburn were probably the most entertaining games that we had. Two teams that like to get forward, like to score goals. So, um, hopefully, it's one that the fans will enjoy. And at the end of it, I hopefully I've enjoyed it as well with, with another win. So we'll see. Thank you, Johnny. Cheers, Dougie.